We're up to part nine of our conversation with Greg Godovitz. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Canada. Greg has done so much for Canadian music, and he knows so many international artists. It's amazing the stories he tells. He wrote these two books. We'll have links in the description where you can pick them up. It's amazing his history in music, being an early member of the band Flood. Then, of course, his solo stuff and Gatto. Here's our conversation with Greg Godovitz. Well, L.A. Woman, uh, from The Doors, of course, that's 71, but I find it interesting that uh, Ray Manzarek hung up on you. Not me. I mean, I, I sort of took him to task, you know, because he was, well, hey, man, you know, Jim, man, the Dionysus, man. It was like working with a shaman, man. Uh, that's, that's what he's like. So when he hung up, I just continued the conversation as him. And my partner said, what are you doing? He says, he just hung up on you. I know, man, but, you know, we got to... We got to keep the show going, man. You know, Jim was uh, it was like working with a shaman, man. He was twirling around like it was like being with Dionysus because that's all the guy ever talked about, you know. And I, truth be told, I asked him a really good question, and then I hit him instantly with the zinger, and he went, "Oh man!" He goes, "That's a low blow, man. Why would you ask what me?" What was that question? I remember I wasn't clear on that. What did you ask him? I can't remember. I've I've got my notes. I, I kept all the questions in a in a bar in a file. Yeah. So somewhere I've got it. And I should have, except the problem when I was writing this book, the stuff was already at the University of Toronto archives. So I couldn't access it to find out what the question was. But the, he'd written a book about the Civil War. So I finally said, oh, I said, okay, let's, let's change tack here. You wrote a book about the Civil War. Why the Civil War? He goes, well, why not, man? I said, well, listen, man. You know, and I started pretending I was him. And then he hung up on me. And I listened to it later, the replay of the show, and I was laughing out loud. And the next day I got a call from, you know, the head of the station going, that was really funny, but don't do that again. <laughs> you know, you were 20 years old when all these great albums were released. I'm not going to hold you up too long, but I'm going to guess what albums you had. You ready? Okay. All right. Okay. Or, or since have had. These are I'll albums. say yes or no. You, or whatever you want to say. It's up to you. Um... Okay, I'm guessing you didn't have Carol King Tapestry. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, oh, Loved it. Still do. 50 years, right? Yes, yes the Yes album. album. Yes, the Yes album. I'm guessing you didn't have it. I had, uh, what was the one with Roundabout on it? Uh, that was Fragile. I had that one. Yeah. And saw them live. They were incredible. I've never seen them. They were, what, what year did you see them live? Do you remember? Well, the Jay Giles band opened up for them at the gardens. So it would be whenever they had their. The 80s, that, the early 80s, Love Stinks, or was it like a, a, a Monkey Island in the 70s or something? Well, Jay Giles, the song I remember was First I Look at the Purse that they had. So it would have been their first album. So whatever oh, year wow. that was. But I was in the front row watching Yes. And of course, paying particular attention to Chris Squire because he had that sound, you know that Rickenbacker sound like that Getty had. Okay. I just talked to Billy Sherwood who replaced him. And he says, you can't win for losing. You can't replace Chris Squire. He says, you just can't. And I was happy to see on the, when they got inducted that they got Getty to play roundabout with them. I thought that was super cool. Oh, Jethro Tull Aqualon. I'm guessing you had it. Am I wrong? I had it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Most of the classics. I mean, I was, I'm, a, I'm a fan of music. So if something, you know, went by on my radar, I was the first guy to go out I remember I, I had a, a record I bought in England, uh, two of them. Uh, the group was called Geordie, and I heard it on the radio, and that was Brian Johnson from uh, ACDC. That was his band. Yeah. And I thought it was tremendous. And the other one was Heads, Hands, and Feet. Uh, had a great song you can find on YouTube called Warming Up the Band, and it's Albert Lee. And I got to meet Albert Lee and, and said, I bought a cop, a single of yeah. warming up the band. He goes, Oh, you're the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that stuff. Yeah. We'll have more from Greg Godovitz in the next three, four days. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos and buy a rock history Canada t-shirt help support our channel. I'm John Bowden. Take care of yourself.